Hi, I'm Dr. P and I'm doing Behind the Lab Specs. So my name is Pooja. Uh, I am a senior lecturer in chemistry at Loughborough University. So I was born uh, in a small village at the foothills of Mount Kenya. Um, and then I moved to the city of Nairobi and moved to the UK in 1998 to study uh, at university. So I was an international student. And since then, I, I have not left university and I always joke this with my students. So my research is on um, modeling. I'm a computational material scientist and I model uh, materials for the next generation of energy technology, for example, batteries. So computational chemistry is um, sort of a bridge between experimental chemistry, which is what everybody's very used to, that's being done in the lab, um, it's very wet, it's very bucket chemistry. And then you have the theoretical side, which just which um, is the types of things that Einstein was doing where they were developing the theories, which are the theories that are used in the lab. And computational chemistry is where we use computers to do some simulations and modeling that will bridge the gap between experimental and the theory, so we're able to explain or predict chemical phenomena that are happening and that are being observed in the lab. So the current uh, projects that I'm working on are to try and understand the crystal structures of new anode materials. So this is the negative side of the battery, uh, where the, the current batteries that we have in our, in, in our phones or in our laptops or even in the cars is actually uh, carbon-based, so it's graphite. Um, we're working on materials that are not graphite-based and they have common problems um, where we want to increase the power and not necessarily the energy. Um, so we're working with a company that is interested in niobium-based oxides as uh, to replace the graphite. Um, I think we want to move away from carbon-based materials, but also these mixed oxides made with niobium also give us much more um, higher power. Uh, they store more lithium, so they have a lot more volumetric energy density. So the current lithium battery materials are all high energy density. That means that they store um, a lot of energy per unit volume or unit uh, weight, which is why they're smaller and lighter. With the high-powered applications, we're looking at um, powering trains or buses or you know planes. That sort of level of capacity is what is required, and for that you need much much more power than you do energy density. So this is why we're moving towards high-powered. I love to bake, I'm a natural baker and I'm always bringing cake because um, my husband complains that he'll get too fat. So um, yeah, I'm a, I, I love baking, I love cooking, uh, especially for people I love and uh, I also love to go cycling and uh, reading and travelling. So EDI, so equity, diversity and inclusivity is really important because I really believe that if if every single person is valued within an institution or within a, an organisation, then the productivity of that organisation um, will, will double, uh, will increase. Um, creating an inclusive work environment is really important for people to feel safe and to feel welcome. And if we want to move forward as world leaders within the science um, and engineering and technology, so within the STEM subjects, then we need a diverse workforce. Um, at the moment, the data is very clear that we do not have a diverse workforce, which means that we, as an institution, whether you're talking about a university or a company, are losing out on a whole talent base because they're not feeling welcome. So my passion comes from wanting to make everyone feel welcome and safe in every environment that they find themselves in. It's really simple to make people feel welcome um, seeing them as people, asking them how their weekend was, taking a moment to no take note of what they like in their coffee, you know, simple gestures that you would do with your family members is what your work colleague would require to feel welcome. Many times people think that inclusivity is about big grandiose forms and surveys and gestures, um, but actually the simplest thing to make your colleagues feel welcome is to just notice them and ask them how they are. My advice to, to young people would be, um, if you believe, to, to really believe in themselves, to have the confidence and to believe in themselves, because quite often, and very often, there will be people along the way in their life that will tell them that they can't make it. And actually, 
these are people who don't know them. So what I would say to any youngster is, my chemistry teacher told me that I couldn't do chemistry to save my life. And yet, here I am now with a PhD in chemistry, more qualified than that teacher actually, and I'm now teaching the next generation of chemists. So if I believed that teacher, then I would not have made it. So what, what I'm saying to you is believe in yourself. If you believe you want to do something, you can do it. And don't let anybody stop you.